Well, I'm finally back to my studio. I have a close friend of mine passed away this uh, last Friday. I used to go to I used to go to dinner with him and his wife all the time, and uh, he's gonna be sorely, sorely missed. Anyway, I'm finally overcome the numbness that comes from losing a close friend, and uh, it's time to get back to life and continue on with this piece here. All right, I'll uh, be right back when I get this thing ready to go. Time to play with some clay. All right, uh, first things first, I uh, got cut a small piece of wood to mount this on so that uh, I can screw down the uh, armature to the board. I'm only going to do it on this horse right now because the uh, other horse I'm going to work on for a little bit today. Ah! I'm going to get... Uh, Ah, that's really hard to get around there. There, that holds it down tight. And I'm going to take off the excess glue. And that should hold fine. I'll set this aside for now. Alright, hopefully uh, the glue will be set up by the time... I get to uh, this horse, or get done with this horse. All right, what I'm doing is I'm putting some of this clay that uh, hardens on its own up here on this uh, sculpture. I need a base for the uh, hips, and uh, that's what I'm getting that uh, set up for. Again, it'll take 24 hours for it to harden, which means I'm not going to be able to do much today, but uh, I'll come back tomorrow. And uh, I will start putting clay on, I hope. The hips are very important. And uh, for obvious reasons. Just as long as I got a solid base for the uh, clay itself, I think I'll be fine. I'll leave the uh, parts of the hip that need to be done for later. I see get this narrowed. The hips are really odd looking, and uh, it takes. some skill to get that right so that uh, the horse will look right okay I'm going to put a thin bit of clay for the skull up here this is just to hold the clay in place and uh, I'm not going to attempt to do a uh, skull but I want the uh, head to have a nice solid base to it. So I'm going to do that uh, with this. Clay. I like this clay for this reason and uh, because of its ability to harden. Now I may, may be making a big mistake doing this, but I'll take the 
chance that I'm not. So, I'll just go from there. I printed up a sheet of uh, the head of the horse to scale, and uh, I'm just going to double check. Oh, that's good. That's going to be his teeth right there. His mouth won't be open. Uh, it'll be uh, closed because he's trying to avoid the other horse's teeth. And uh, so I just need to go to the end of the skull and uh, an approximation of his teeth right there. Because I want this clay bo on both pieces to be hard by tomorrow, I'm going to do this uh, other horse, even though the base isn't glued up yet, or solidified, but I'm going to at least get the, uh, the hip area to the point where I like it, and try to do this without knocking everything off my sculpting stand with the uh, clamp. Okay. I want to make it the same length and width. Okay. I swear this feels just like ceramic clay. This uh, clay. And I'll put the uh, name of it up here. I made a video several days back uh, and uh, on this clay a review of it and uh, I got it on Amazon. It wasn't all that expensive but you don't get a lot of clay for the price. I need to see to back it up with clay on the other side. It's amazing how this stuff sticks together and when it hardens, it uh, hardens in one piece. I, I'll get bags in the way. Okay. Just need to press that up there so that the uh, armature is completely surrounded with this clay. Perfect. Make sure this one lines up perfectly too. And it does. The hips are a certain distance from the chest. And I'm just checking that uh, little bit of info. Now the head of the horse is going to be, on this one, is going to be different because he's going to have his jaw open or his mouth open. And I want to get this right. That wire frame doesn't leave me a lot of room for mistakes. So I'm going to rebend the head. Like that. 
Let's see how that works out. Yeah, it's a lot better. We just need to narrow the head a little bit. wires in the way. need that loop to support the uh, hard clay when it hardens but I don't need anything sticking out to the surface of the head all right I think I got that I'll get me a little clay As you can see, I've got both horses put together. I'm uh, going to have to call it quits, though, because I've got to wait for the uh, clay to warm up. It's been cold in the studio, and I didn't get down here early enough to uh, turn the heat on. And it's it's not exactly cold, uncomfortable cold. It's just cool. And it's cool in such a way that the clay is taking longer to harden, I mean, to soften. And for that reason, I'm just going to have to uh, come back uh, when I can work on the uh, clay part of the horses. I think I moved that leg up too high. There we go. I got to make sure I'm not screwing up his face. <laughs> Well, I guess you'll leave it the way it is. You'll be fine until tomorrow. All right, everybody. I'll see you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos. That could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.